Hey guys, I just bought one palette from Fox Liquidation. This video is going to be uh, about what it's like to process one palette. Um, if you're thinking about buying liquidation, you're thinking about changing up your sourcing method, this definitely is a video that you might wanna check out. Um, I just purchased one palette. Uh, it is the Ladies Designer Shelf Pulls, not the Returns and it's the fall winter season. So total retail value for this particular palette is $15,713.53. My cost was $1,123. Shipping was $313. And so that gives me uh, $7.22 for my cost per unit. I keep that number in mind when I, when I do my pricing. Um, so 199 units, I chose this palette because it has 43 free people items with an average SRP of 128 to $168. And based on my research, sold comps for these particular clothing items range about 50 to $75. So just based on the free people alone, if I sold all 43 units for about $50 and that's being competitive, um, I would get $2,150 back. So I'd recover my capital for this palette plus even profit. Um, and then I'll have 156 units left to sell, which will be my profit. Um, so this video is not really going to be, um, it's not gonna go over each unit, but what I'd like to do is just show you what it's like to unbox, to process, to get it ready for listing. And I'll also show you the actual eBay listing um, in the video. So. I hope you find this content helpful if you're thinking about buying wholesale or going liquidation. Um, I'm going to start making some reseller content here on my YouTube channel and I uh, hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Okay guys, this is what one palette looks like. Again, this was only 199 units, so it's one of their smaller palettes. I've seen uh, palettes up to 500 to 600 units. Obviously, you'll be looking at about one, you know, 1,000 to up to $10,000. Depends on what kind of palette you get, but this one contains the ladies designer shelf pulls. So this is box number one. We'll just start off with one box. Many of these clothing items that I processed were the Macy's House brand, which includes Mason Jewels, Bar 3. I had a few Tommy Hilfiger and Lucky brand. So obviously, first thing I like to do is take one box at a time, open it, and hang everything. So the only downfall with Fox Liquidation is you're going to get these sensor tags. So I have to... I have to buy one of these um, tag removers so I can sell this. Before purchasing, you'll want to make sure your delivery destination can handle or is equipped to handle freight delivery. Basically, that means you're going to have a big semi-truck deliver your package. Um, this is not going to be your typical UPS or FedEx delivery. Um, you'll also need to make sure your streets can handle this. Um, you're going to sign a documentation acknowledging um, that you're receiving freight delivery and I'm not sure if that's something they provide to the city or just for liability purposes not sure but something to keep in mind another thing to have handy is a pallet jack just in case you need to move your pallet around you have that pallet jack to uh, readjust the placement of your package right. that was box number one so I'm gonna go ahead and steam this batch and then I'm going to batch list. That means like making a listing on eBay and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and I'll take photos. This is a process I truly take pride in. I really want my buyers to have an awesome experience when buying from my online store. So I make sure that I give the clothing lots of love and make sure it looks nice. This process is not that bad. It took me only 30 minutes to uh, hang up all the clothes and steam them.
what I love about Fox Liquidation is the manifest. The manifest has all of the information about each of the product that's going to be included in the palette. So you're really able to make an informed decision and you can price it out and see if it's going to be worth your time and money um, to purchase that particular palette. Another thing to keep in mind is the funds, the funds to pay for your palette. Anything that's over $2,000, you're gonna have to wire. And I know that can be scary for many because you're not purchasing the item or you're not paying for the item directly on the website. You're having to go to the bank and withdraw your cash and basically wire the money or you do a direct deposit, which is what I do. We'll go over my eBay listings and I will show you what the actual photo looks like and how I price things. Okay, that was 22 items. I have 177 units to go. That was one of the smaller boxes. And so far, so good. Oh, wait, I have 176. Oh, this is one has a tag. These are my actual eBay listings and how I price these items. Uh, they are based on sold comparables on eBay and Poshmark. And then as you can see for this Tommy Hilfiger, um, what's nice about Fox Liquidation is a manifest includes the original stock photo. So that saves me a lot of time. I still take photos, uh, but I use the stock photo as the main image to attract buyers. Many of the tags are going to have the clearance price tag, that yellow tag. So all you really need is a hair dryer and just heat that tag so you can melt the adhesive and it'll peel right off. This Mason Jewels red tunic sweater sold within two days of listing at my full asking price. This one looks like it was a returned item, so it's not new with tags, but I looked over it and there wasn't any damages, so I'm gonna sell it new without tags. This next Mason Jewels tank for $5.99 Obviously, I'm not really making any money off of that. It's really to help recover some of my capital. Um, I do have other items that are priced higher, which is going to give me a better return on investment. So some items are going to be priced lower just so I can recover some of that cost. So I hope this video helped you. Um, I wanted you to kind of see what it was like to unbox one of the boxes from the palette. Maybe you're thinking about buying something from Fox Liquidation or thinking about different ways of sourcing and this is a great way to scale up your business.